Hello everyone, my name is Ma Anh and I'm 11 years old. So today I'm going to talk about earthquake, tsunamis and erosion. There are three main parts, but we're going to see the conclusion at last. Okay, now let's start speaking about earthquakes, tsunamis and erosion. So first of all, earthquakes. So earthquakes. So you know earthquakes? Earthquakes is the outer part of the earth. The Earth has three main parts. This is the earthquake, earth crust, the mantle, and the core. That is the three main parts. And the crust, the outer part, it moves. It moves slowly because it floats on the mantle and it moves around slowly. And, and it just f f uh, moves a few millimeter a year. It's a quite small. A few millimeter like this one, millimeter. Okay, so it's really small. So we see that it quite grows small, but sometimes it moves suddenly into different directions. For example, this is there are a lot of plates on the earth crust, and they move around. The plates move around, and when two plates go this, it suddenly go into different direction go into the same direction like this and they go boom they will they will go up one will go up and one will go down then they create a earthquake because when we when it go down you need um when it go here it need to fight so we can see who can be on and then when on it will make a crash for example when you Put two pen together. You get two pen and put it together like this one. And when you pass it, you will see a crack like this one. See, see a crack. Okay, so that crack creates an earthquake. Okay, and earthquakes are dangerous because it make building fall down. Some high building, if we some some of the building they will move like this really scary and some fall down they fall down nothing else nothing less and then when there is earthquake people in building hide under the heavy table for example this table my table is heavy i'm going to hide underneath hide underneath because when things fall on the table it cannot hurt us and they also stand in two rooms Okay, for example, this is the door to the living room and the bedroom you stand there when the earthquake. But mostly stand under the table is a better way. Next, the tsunamis. So, earthquakes is a uh, weather, kind of, kind of not the weather, but the things that happen in natural, natural, natural force, okay? And tsunamis is also a natural force as well. The two are maybe similar of like bad fashion because they bring storm tours. And tsunamis, sometimes there is earthquakes under the oceans. And usually it's not dangerous because it's small down there. But if it is big, it's quite dangerous. If it's small, it's not dangerous. If it's big, dangerous. Simulate the opposite, and when this is big, it make a giant waves. Well, up the way sometimes in films you see wave the wave like this one really high, but the people just sit stand here. This very little here, and when the waves splash down, oh no, that is not safe. And that waves is called a tsunami. Tsunamis are dangerous. After a, snar uh, after a tsunami, they often flood. And houses, cars, trees are in the water. The water isn't clean though, they so many people are sick. One example of tsunamis in 2004, a big tsunami in Indian Ocean. There was a big tsunami in Indian Ocean. Where is this near India, right? The there is a there is a big tsunami splashing to where 
Asia, maybe. Or, I don't know, maybe Asia. And many people die at that year. So you see that tsunamis and earthquakes are, are not really bad, but they can affect badly to you. So be careful. You need to learn about how to be safe in, uh, in um, tsunamis and earthquakes. Now, erosion. So first, look at some drawings in this one. You see that it look like castle, right? It look a bit like castle, but actually it is rocks. Where are these rocks? Are they on the moon? No. They are in Cappadocia, Turkey. And they look like sculpture, right? Sculpture that which is really tall. It's just dry, so it's a bit small, but it's actually very tall. <coughs> tall as a house, maybe. And the one make them out, even though they look like sculpture. Huh? What is what what is with that? Actually the winds make it, not people. And wind will blow on the rock because it's in not hard. The rock is not hard, so wind blow rock. It blow rock. Okay, if it blow some um, some of the bits bits of rocks fly away. Okay? And the slowly change. This is what we call it, erosion. So in Canada, the Colorado River in the USA, the river moves over the rock. Okay, so it is the rock, the river move over it, move over it, move over it, and they broke it. This is also a car erosion. And erosion here started 2 million years ago. That is quite long though. No, maybe 12, 12 million years. They're quite, quite, quite long. Okay, and next. Sun, cold weather, and wind broke rocks too. All these things make an incredible valley called the Grand Canyon. So if you have a chance to visit the USA, maybe I, th I think that you should. It is uh, visit the Grand Canyon, which is really good, really good, where uh, rocks are red. That's what they call Red Canyon. And there's a place you look around, take pictures, and not many way to, uh, many way to um, explore around that. So I hope you have a great time visiting the Grand Canyon, though. Now the story. So the weather. It's a part of Earth story. All the weather, sun, sunny, uh, snowy, rainy, windy, etc. All of it is a part of Earth story. The sun and wind make desert. Wind will make tiny pieces of sand. And sun make it hot and dry. So desert it make. And glaciers make valleys. The glacier will float on the water. It has sharp, it has sharp, and when you grow around, it will crack, crack, crack the mountain into valley. And then the rainfall on limestone, limestone will carve, it will carve cave. That is natural cave, and sometimes people now also make cave from boom or dynamite, but natural. Natural cave, more it took a long time, but it increased incredible, and all of those things, the weather, the erosion, earthquake, tsunamis, etc. Other, other mm, natural force is all part of the incredible Earth story. So they are all part of a story. And sometimes we human are too. So I hope you learned something new about earthquakes, tsunamis, and erosions. Maybe I have a chance to make a presentation about other natural force as well. But this is the end of the three force that we learned. Okay, and I hope this is a great presentation. And thank you for listening.
Goodbye, everyone. See you in the next presentation. Goodbye.